Hello, my name is Paul Kulchenko, and this video is a demonstration of Marmalade Quick integration and debugging support in the Zero Brain Studio development environment for Lua. This is how it works. I will use one of the samples that come with Marmalade Quick. And you can see this list of samples here. And we'll use something like Hello World. We open main.lua file from that project. And then we'll set it as the current project. And we can do this by going to either project directory set from current file or by using this button in the toolbar. The second thing that we need to do is to switch the current interpreter to use Marmalade Quick. And now we can run our project. As you can see, the project is quite simple. It has a couple of messages and a button that we can click and it will change its color when we click it. So let's do something a bit more interesting. Let's debug this application. And we need to add this line or uncommanded and this will enable debugging integration. And we also put a breakpoint here to stop when we start debugging. Now we can go to start debugging and you'll see the application is suspended here. We can now step through the code and you can see that the message that you printed actually appears in the output window and you can also see that the program was started. You can see the command that was used to start the simulator which may be useful for uh, troubleshooting. You can now step through the code. You can also mouse over a variable and you'll see its value, the current value that the debugger reports. And let's say we want to stop when we click on that button in the application, put a breakpoint here. This is part of the touch event and it checks if the face is again and we continue the application. Let's move the window here. So now when we click on it, you can see the application is suspended here. We can step through the code. We can inspect the values RGB. We can also open the stack window and it'll show uh, all the stack frames and we can see that the current function has these local variables. Indeed, we can see RGB values. We can see the event table and you can expand it to see values in the table. But let's do something a bit more interesting. If you go to remote console, we can run any, comm any Lua commands we want and they'll be executed in our application. So for example, we can look at RGB values, but we can also change them. Let's make the color red instead of being somewhat green and blue. And you can see that the values have been also changed in the stack window. And now if we, let's close the stack window. If we continue the application, we can see the, that the button is indeed red. Click it again and execute. We can see that there are different values now and let's change them to get green value, green color. We continue the execution and the color is indeed green. So this integration gives you an easy way to run your program, suspend it if you need it, inspect the values, modify them, and then continue the execution. When you're done debugging your application, you can simply close it. Go to Zero Brain Studio project page and give it a try. Thank you.